sink, 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 sink. What's up guys, Atom Bacon here. Welcome back to more Need for Speed Hot Pursuit. In the last episode, we completed a series of racing events and finished off with the duology of Hot Pursuits. In the last episode, we're going... In this episode, we're going to be starting things off with an interceptor. Inter... I, I was caught between interceptor and interception. <coughs> um, what car do I want to use? I'll use the TTRS. Because I like that car. Okay. Alright, so we got four roadblocks and two EMPs. Huh. You know, with the name Spike Out, you would kind of expect to have spike strips for this mission. I'm actually kind of surprised that I don't. Hmm. <coughs> Alright, so, um, speak, uh, not speaking of Hot Pursuit 2, uh, I was gonna say speaking of Hot Pursuit 2 because I it had a failed intro take just a moment ago where I accidentally introduced this game as Hot Pursuit 2. <coughs> <coughs> so there, now we were speaking of Hot Pursuit 2. Um, I think I may have actually found a way to, uh, record off of my PS2, so... Hot Pursuit 2 is definitely in the cards as a future Let's Play. Um, I, I consider it because it is a game I grew up on, and this game has shown me that I apparently can commentate a racing game. Uh, so, Hot Pursuit 2 and possibly Burnout Revenge are both in the cards as future Let's Plays. I uh, probably would do Burnout Paradise, even though I own it. I don't really like it that much. It's kind of fun for playing around, but. I, the controls bug me a little bit in that one. Anyway, even if I do do either of those, they wouldn't be for quite a while. <coughs> um, I got quite a few other non-racing games planned in more immediate future let's plays. Which, at the time I'm recording this, I'm really thinking about the future because... Today, the day of this being recorded, should be the upload date for episode 14 of the blog. Alright, and uh, snapping back into reality, we're starting to see more use of weapons by our opponents, uh, by the uh, targets here. They will start to become very uh, aggressive after a while. We saw the jammer in an earlier mission, uh, which honestly I think of all the things that the... Um, suspects can do. The jammers are the most dangerous. Uh, I say I completely don't see that spike strip. <coughs> I do think the spikes are the spike strips. The EMPs are the most dangerous because since in these interceptor missions it's completely open road. Well, open road I should say. There's no set courses. It's very easy for them to disable your minimap and then do something ridiculous and if you don't have visual contact then it's virtually impossible, and they can basically lose it right there, and they're going to be in the situation. EMP activated, acquiring target lock. I'm actually surprised I managed to still get that. I've made contact. My vehicle is taking damage. Oh, jeez. I actually think... That's one thing that I noticed in these interceptor missions, is your own health bar seems to slip by a bit. Like, you don't even know it. Ah! Yes, I did. And, uh, um, that actually is a great display of screwed up physics. Um, that actually, uh, demonstrates something I, um, have not really had a chance to talk about just because I wanted to wait till it was relevant to bring it up. But, um, using cutscenes to avoid obstacles. It's actually a valid strategy in this game. 
sometimes it's hard to influence and do when you want. But that right there is a perfect example. When you hit something like a spike strip or an EMP, you will have a brief cutscene showing that. And of course, you can't just stop mid cutscene. But you at the same time, the, you you can't hit an obstacle that you had no control as a player uh, of hitting. So what can happen is if you time a spike strip or EMP hit perfectly so that it goes off right before hitting a roadblock or a spike strip or something of the sort, <coughs> you can actually use the cutscene to slip by the obstacle without having to swerve around it, but also without hitting it. Um, it's not something I'm going to actively try to replicate because it's almost a bit of an exploit, plus it's really tough to pull off. I find it happens more by accident than on purpose anyway, so trust me, I'm, <coughs> I'm sure we're going to be seeing plenty of it. I'm just not going to be actively trying to make it happen. I really don't think I'll need to. That being said, we're getting into another preview mission here. Uh, I've never really been the biggest fan of the Porsche line in this game, but this one actually doesn't seem that bad. I mean, my, my main can my main control. My main complaint with Porsches usually is I don't like how they handle. This one actually kind of nice. I should I should try to remember what exactly what model this is that when we actually unlock it later, if I ever. I mean, still not my first choice, but it's not as bad as most Porsches in this game. Do. For me, anyway. I mean, I'm sure some people love Porsches, and some people just like the feel of sliding cars in general. And they do have their merit. If you can mask the sliding cars, they can definitely get away with some stuff that different cars can't. I just personally don't like how they feel. Okay, that wasn't too bad. <coughs> but this one isn't too bad for Porsche standards. Again, not a lot. To say, uh, not a lot to say during uh, preview or time trial missions in general, so uh, I apologize. Of course, if I a little sta uh, static, static, is that, is that the right word? Lovely. And my controller is apparently giving me a hand massage, because apparently I'm playing with the, uh, uh vibrate. This game actually, I never realized this. I, I think I vibrate turned off in my before, because I don't remember my controller vibrating this much when I play. Oh well. Whatever. I mean, it doesn't really affect how this comes across to the viewers, so I guess I, it's kind of thing to bring up. Just goes to show how little I have to talk about during uh, preview missions. Or by time trials in general for that matter, other than commenting on the immediate what's happening. Mm, that was all again kinda of close. I have 45 seconds. Uh, 40 seconds. Is that a trichometer underneath my speedometer? I don't think I've ever noticed that before. How have I never noticed that? <coughs> wow, that's actually kind of sad. Whoa! I am so glad you don't get the penalties you have in the uh, top missions in the air. Okay. No chance in hell on I'm probably not going to get silver either, for that matter. Uh, crap. Oh, no, oh okay. Um. Okay, uh, you may notice, um, under this mess, but on that thing that's a speed wall. That is a. S oh, God. Uh, barely made it. Uh, speed wall. That's essentially the leaderboard, and uh, if you have friends uh, online who also play the game, <coughs> oh sweet, I wanted to level three. Um, if you have friends online who also play the game, they can, you guys can compete for your times. Um, 
You may have noticed an odd symbol that appeared on some of my missions. Uh, ooh, yeah, Super Impreza. <laughs> um, I'll, uh, if you haven't noticed, I'll point it out next time we're on the menu. Uh, ten minutes ago. Um, yeah, I'll point it out next time we're on the menu, uh, which is going to be in just a moment here. Uh, you can see this little symbol here. Uh, it says Auto Log Alert in the top left corner. That's and that symbol appears here. That's saying, well, you can see in the bottom right, the time trials um, are the best times for this mission. Uh, I just did a time trial though, so I'm not going to do that again. Uh... Alright, let's take this one off. You have been granted the highest level of pursuit support. Command has approved the request for aerial response units. When in a pursuit, you can call in one of the helicopter units to assist you. The aerial unit will attempt to track the suspect and bring them to a stop with force. The helicopters are equipped with spike strips which they will attempt to drop ahead of any fleeing suspect. The units have a limited amount of fuel, so use any request wisely. <coughs> I'm rather bittersweet about helicopters. Generally, there's really no reason not to have one with you. Um, because they're pretty helpful. But, at the same time, they can backfire on you sometimes. It, it is very, very possible, if you aren't paying attention, to hit your own spike strips. And admittedly, I've had that happen a lot to me, and I'm sure it will happen quite a bit in this series. <coughs> <coughs> Pardon me. Anyway, uh, you can see I have a couple of um, friends. I honestly don't know these people in real life, but I have them on here. Just It gives me someone to compete with when... Well, I mean, I, I'm not really worried too much about their times for this... Um, Officers in pursuit of an Audi TT heading- For this Let's Play, I'm really not gonna concern myself with my rival times. It was more a matter of after I'd already beaten all the missions on my first playthrough and had nothing better to do, it gave me something to aspire to and give me a reason to keep the way that I had, uh, Roger that, that I was to my time. But, uh, I'm not gonna worry too much about beating their time, uh, for this, because that's not what this Let's Play Button. Move it. Yes. Uh, for this one though, the Iron Sky, all you have is your helicopter. So you get to summon it three times, and other than that, it's all brute force. Like I said, these I I can I've said before, and I stand by that I consider interceptor missions the boss fight. And we're really getting into some of the tougher ones now, so you can really start to see just why I say that kind of thing. All units working systems are down, suspect is using a jammer. As you can see, he likes to use, likes to use jammer quite a bit more now. Um, fortunately, in that situation, there wasn't anywhere. Pursuing an officer being on interns, we're incoming. Uh, at times before, we might go to the side of the but there are going to be a lot of cases, and I can practically comment that we will be seeing these cases where they use a jammer, go somewhere completely different, and you end up losing the mission because you weren't paying attention. Or, well, not even someone who you weren't paying attention, but just because you didn't have any contact at that moment. There are a lot of things that can go wrong in these missions. Cooldowns, taking too much damage, it, it, it's quite a production. Um, another benefit of the uh, helicopter, though, is it has its own. It has its own. What am I trying to say? It has its own radius, the pursuit range sort of thing. It's a bit basically. If. The suspect is too far away for you to be able to uh, count, or for you to be able to. Um, if it's far enough away that you would be in cooldown, 
but you have a helicopter chasing it, it essentially gives you more range, and thus you have less of a risk of losing it, uh, just from getting too far away. Um, so that's another <laughs> big help that the helicopter can provide. And stuff like that! Still didn't beat his time, but I beat Gordon by two seconds, so can't really complain with that. <laughs> didn't really get anything for it, but oh well, you don't always get something for everything. Um, we got three new comp missions available. French Connection, Precision Pursuit, or Point of Impact. Uh, two, or uh, I think it, that's a rapid response, a pre yeah, a rapid response, a preview, and a hot pursuit. Um, what do I have here? Experience more, prestige, encore performance. Uh, oh, that's not a new symbol. Um, we'll go here, encore performance, and I think this will be probably the last race tonight. Um, I use the Grand Cabrio. That's cool. Hello. It's been a while since we just did a straight up race with nothing fancy going on. Loading times. There we go. <laughs> <coughs> Let's get this party started. You know, uh, for those I mentioned before that you can use your own soundtrack for the game, and I guess I probably should just show that off just for people who might want to but aren't entirely sure how. You can actually set it in the middle of a race. So l let me just demonstrate this here for you. Uh, you go down to audio settings, and then soundtrack. I have one called Vocaloid, so I'll shuffle it. Um, uh, to start, it's now playing my music instead of the game's music. I'll probably set it back right before I finish this race. Uh, actually, now, I I'll, I'll let it finish after the race, but I kind of want to show why it's kind of really like she is here. Uh, show them tell. Anyway. Whoa. Somebody went out. I will hit that guy just to take care of the That would have been awkward. Why did the camera just like shoot up there? This area! Oh god. Okay, here is not too bad, but this is one of the most deadly areas during interceptor missions. There is so much that can go wrong here if the target uses a jammer in this area. Like, and there will be interceptors that don't do this area. So, if you aren't good at maintaining visual contact, which, admittedly, I'm really not. Some of those interceptor missions are going to get brutal later in this game. Woo! Bye bye. Oh, jeez! That ah, looks bad. Think of something to think about. Think of something to talk about. Um. Yeah, that was not quite how I wanted that to go, but whatever. 
Let's see if there's a less player. Definitely not. Like, and like, it, there's definitely quite a lot to go in. And this is, I'm willing to bet this is probably going to be my longest part play so far. Not my longest part play here yet. I have some games in mind that are going to be pretty long. But this one is definitely 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 going to be probably longer than uh, the first two. Right? Then again, it really just depends on things that they top the food on, like the weight of the rat, at least top the food, and it just has to count the way I get the food done, because that can make a big difference in how many events I do for episodes. And the more events I do for episodes, the less episodes this will take. And I might show some of those DLC missions at the end. Might not. So my main hesitation there is I don't want to show the DLC if I'm not going to show all of it. And I don't want to get all of it. I got those ones for my own entertainment. I am One person, oh god, there's only one on the left. Okay, I need to pass one person before the end. Ah, crap. I'm not gonna make it. <coughs> well, um, that was embarrassing. episode off here so next time in hot pursuit we're just gonna keep on doing what we do see you guys then <laughs>